G'day, so we're gonna look at um, turning on and setting up our new DJI Mini 4 Pro for the first time. Uh, and we'll just see what we need to do. So I'm gonna turn on the remote first. Um, so you do that by double pressing and holding the power button. So you let that load up. So I'm gonna select English. I'm gonna agree, push Australia. I have tick. I'm gonna select my Wi-Fi. Now, just pop in your password at this stage. Tick next. And it's gonna select my time zone. Which is Brisbane. Okay, now if you already have a DJI login, um, use that now. If you don't, go to create an account. Um, I already have one, so I'm going to pop mine in. So obviously, if you don't have a login already and you're going through the create option, um, there may just be a few extra questions. Um, so just go through those before you get to this stage. Welcome guide, skip. So it may or may not need a firmware update. That was a lovely little video. Very exciting, Let's skip through that. Um, you can join their product thingy. Um, there you can do your um, Academy if you want. Once you've gotten through the login stage and you're uh, set up on your controller, uh, pop your battery in. Obviously you'll need to charge your batteries before you pop them in. Um, so you just double press. And we're on. So that should connect to the remote. Okay, just click agree. So you can purchase the DJI Refresh if you want. Um, so obviously it's come up with needing new firmware. So I'm just gonna press update. During the firmware update, your drone will turn off and on a couple of times, so don't be afraid. Just let the screen do its thing until the next option to move forward comes up. While we wait for the firmware to update, the question of can you use your existing filters from your Mini 3 Pro, the answer is no. It's a different sized front because of the bigger lens. So um, any of your old neutral density filters or circular polarizers or whatever, the um, the mount is a different size. You'll, it's physically bigger by a mil or two. So you'll need to purchase um, new ones. All right, and we're back. That only took however many minutes is displaying on the screen right now. So once you've updated your firmware on both the camera and the remote control, uh, you're good to go. So if you have any questions about that process, just leave a comment below and I'll get back to you. And uh, don't forget to subscribe and uh, help grow this beautiful channel. Thanks so much. Cheers.